Hey everybody, thanks for joining us and welcome to the 22nd edition of Fight Like the Movie. The tutorial series where we study cinema's most epic fight scenes and employ we discover and develop a deeper understanding of film combat. I'm your instructor, TJ Sinsula. This week's lesson, The Matrix Reloaded. A 2003 film directed by the Wachowski siblings, stunt coordination by Glenn Bosworth, and martial arts stunt coordination by Chad Stahelski. Roll it. There's no denying that The Matrix and its sequels are some of the most influential cinematic experiences of the modern era. The highly stylized world, the amazingly innovative camera work, The Matrix series also popularized hyper slow motion and dramatic time warp effects, and created one of the most amazing visual and technical achievements that has been emulated ever since. It's a combination of amazing martial arts, incredible stunts, cutting edge effects, and action sequences so long you could get punched in the face, knocked unconscious, wake up, and it's still going. What began in The Matrix was expanded on in The Matrix Reloaded, and infused with enough adrenaline and weapons and violence to satisfy even the most hardcore action moviegoer. The fight scene that takes place in the army has everything. Amazing impossible jumps, super cool wire work and green screen effects, bullets, gunfire, swords, shields, scythes, spears. I'm even pretty sure there's a trident. Using incredibly complex martial arts dual wielding skills, the hero has a visually stunning answer to everything the bad guys throw at him. If the recipe for a successful action sequence is heart pumping fast paced choreography, jaw dropping visual effects, and just plain looking super cool, The Matrix Reloaded brought the big guns. Let's meet the class. What's it gonna be? You take the blue pill, the story ends right here. But you take the red pill, prepare yourself for action! In the film The Matrix, Neo is the one. But since I wanted every person to have the opportunity to be the hero, we actually had like the several. So we had a little bit of an unconventional approach. Instead of learning the fight together with our partners, we actually did a little bit of shadow dancing, where everybody learned the role of the main person, the hero in the center of the fight, and we worked it as if they were invisible opponents. At this point, the students did not know where the attacks were going to come from. We then plugged them in later with a variety of different weapons, and everybody learned the outside position of at least one spot, and a couple guys had learned several spots so that we can satisfy the demands of the person in the center. It was a little bit of an experiment, and it was really challenging for more than one reason, mainly because the center person is doing some dual wielding, and this is complex as it is, really dividing the hemispheres of the brain and making the left hand and the right hand work independently of each other. Sometimes the fighting can be relatively intuitive. This was not. We made these movements very complex and very difficult, and people had to really concentrate to figure out where they were going. The other thing we wanted to do was to make the middle person not really have to think too much about where the other people were supposed to be. They needed to fluidly go throughout their moves as if they already knew where the other person was going to go, and then the people on the outside have to fill in their spot in the time. Another one of the challenges is this is one of the fights that you would take two months rehearsing before it becomes camera ready, and we had to do it all in an hour. So everybody worked really hard and everyone was very focused and nobody got hurt, which is phenomenal. Everyone was very cooperative and we transitioned from each role so that everybody could play the hero.
special thanks to Taylor Jeffers, Taylor Jeffers, Taylor Jeffers, Taylor Jeffers, and Taylor Jeffers for helping me out with the after hours shoot. And that is a wrap. There is a button. You will notice it described as like. I want you to take your mouse cursor, hover over that like button, and click. Now, you will also see a subscribe box. Take that same mouse cursor, hover over the subscribe box, and click. If you have successfully performed this operation, you will be reloaded to another screen that will give you the option to access all of the cinematic combat content Fight Like the Movies has to offer. There is a place. It is called Facebook. You want to go there, and you will click like as well. You may also feel compelled to write a review. I encourage you to do this. You can also follow the White Rabbit to Twitter and Instagram at Warrior Showdown. And for the truly bold, come join us Wednesday night at Swordplay Studios in Burbank, California from 8.30 to 10 p.m. There are only seven sessions left. So time is running out. All skill levels are welcome. No special color-coded pills required. And cut. I'm up.